6 Chief Meteorologist Bruce Sussman. Okay, are you ready for more heat? Are you ready for an increase in the humidity? Well, ready or not, here it comes. Let's talk about tomorrow's forecast to start. 67 degrees out the door. I mean, it's going to be tough to get much cooler than that, and I'll show you why in a minute. It's going to be feeling more humid tomorrow. 77 and mostly sunny at lunchtime. Maybe a few high clouds wandering around. 84 degrees in the afternoon, and then we finish out right around 90, but maybe just shy of that, uh, which is a little cooler than today, but it's going to feel warmer because of the humidity, and that's one of the big stories tonight. Live look at the twinkling lights at downtown Portland. We are still 73 degrees in the Rose City. That's rare for any night of the year at this time of the night, but the air temperature is only part of the story. For example, Lake Oswego right now, our weather sensor there, it's still 80, but it feels like 82. Wilsonville at 78, but it feels two degrees warmer than that at 80 degrees, and the Bethany area you're at 78 right now and you feel more like 79. So this is just a small spread in the way the humidity makes it feel to your body. Tomorrow, uh, that's going to be an even bigger difference because humidity is going to be boosted. Now, high temperatures today, 90s in Scappoose, Hillsboro, Vancouver, Troutdale, and Portland, all making it to 90 for the first time this year. Salem and Eugene, same thing. Lots of heat east of the Cascades and even some 70s along the coast. But let's talk about our high today of 92 in Portland. That was Friday's high, and guess what? I looked this up. This is our hottest day since last September. That's almost 300 days, September 7th, if you want to be exact on that one. Now, did you notice something tonight as the sun was going down? Besides the fact it was warm, there were some clouds as you looked off to the west, and those clouds will be increasing overnight because that's linked to an incoming system. Now, this thing's falling apart as it moves in. The rain's mainly going north, but clouds from the system will be here overnight and then tomorrow, mainly in the morning. There's some impacts from this. First of all, the clouds are going to keep us warmer overnight, like we needed help in that department, and humidity will be increasing as the system moves in. I'm also wondering if maybe there's just enough of a little trigger here to create some isolated thunderstorms that could possibly rumble across our skies overnight, and I'm seeing some moisture that also is trying to become thunderstorms in far eastern Oregon. So some places could see an isolated storm overnight, but most of the time we're back for dry weather. Rain and cloud forecast overnight. Here come the high clouds, right? developing. This is tomorrow morning, kind of a filtered sunshine effect in many parts of town. And then we uh, get rid of the clouds for the most part. But we do notice a few pop-up clouds over the coast range and the Cascades tomorrow. We'll be watching for an isolated storm, but right now it looks like that's probably not going to happen tomorrow. Partly sunny along the coast and we'll see mostly sunny skies in the valley after those morning clouds. A little cooler, but still pushing 90 degrees. It's going to be 89 for a high tomorrow in Portland. High clouds at times and feeling more humid than it did today. Day. will be 89 in Tigard, for example, and most places will be in the upper 80s. I've got Portland at somewhere around 88, 89 degrees, depending on your neighborhood. 93 on Sunday as the all-out sun returns, and then Monday, I think that's going to be the peak of the heat at 96 degrees. Close call, though, on Tuesday. Now, any time during this heat wave, if I've talked about, there's a chance an isolated storm could pop up. The most likely time right now seems to be Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning, where they would develop over the Cascades and drift into the valley. But that could change, and Brian Muskim is going to be here all weekend with those updates. In the meantime, 4th of July right now looks dry. It looks a little cloudier and cooler, cooler though. Cooler. Coolier. Yeah, it looks cloudier <laughs> and cooler. 